What's up guys, how are you all doing? Hey, welcome to another video. Today we're gonna to be checking out how to uh, put together a basically like a cooling vest. I was recently on vacation, I'm finally getting back to making some videos, and I noticed that when walking around in crowds, you get extremely hot. So I figured what would be fun would be to build some sort of a vest, or I don't know, it may evolve during this video, but you're gonna come with me and we're gonna build something that's gonna basically keep you cool while you're out in the theme park. All right, so let's go ahead and get to the bench and I'll show you what I've got coming and I've got thinking and we'll take you through it, all right? Okay guys, so we're down here on the bench. All right, so what we got here is some interesting stuff. We came up with the idea, I'm thinking, how are we going to keep things cool? Now, the way that I'm thinking of keeping things cool is with what's called a Peltier Junction. Those of you that don't know, this is one right here that I've just been testing with. Um, it's this white, this white thing right here connected to this big heat sink. What Peltier Junctions are is they're basically an electric thermal pump. When you turn them on, they will efficiently move heat from one side to the other side. So if you hook it up one polarity, they have they run off a of DC. This one I believe is a 12 volt. If you run 12 volts through it, uh, plus to minus, I believe this side will get hot and the other side will get cold. If you reverse the polarity, this side will get cold and this side will get hot. The reason that it's doing that is it's actually transferring the heat from this plate to the other plate. Wow. And so if you put a heat sink on it and you get the heat away from that hot side of that plate, this side will get extremely cold. I mean, you can freeze ice with this thing. It's, it's, it's amazing, or free, freeze water, freeze ice, ice is already frozen. Anyway, so what we've got here is I've got basically an array of Peltier junctions. I've got four that's on here and there's a little liquid reservoir. And I'm thinking, what I'm thinking is if we can take some tubing and plug it into to this and run liquid through it and super cool this block, then it should give us some nice cool liquid that maybe we can sew into a vest or something to wear. So basically what I got here is I got a little fish tank pump, a little 12 volt. Um, all this, all the parts on this stuff can be found down in the description. Um, uh, but I've got a little pump here that's just a little water pump, fits on this little tubing right here. This I believe is 5 16 tubing. And basically I'm just gonna make a closed loop where it's just gonna pump the water around in a circle. But to get started, we need to test this thing out. I need to see how cold this gets, how hot it gets, because I don't know what this heat sink can do and these four fans can do. So let's get this wired up and let's see what we can do. Okay guys, so now looking at this thing, the specs on this bad boy, it looks like it can take a rated current of 17 amps at 12 volts and a maximum of 24 amps um, on that. So for a maximum of about 288 watts of uh, power. So that's way more than my power supply can do. So we're gonna need to find a solution. Uh, 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 lawnmower battery. Yes. All right, guys. So here's what we got. We got our deal hooked up, wired it up to the car battery. Um, just have the wire off of it. Um, wired up the fans to a 12 volt uh, power supply. Just so if we need to, we can turn the fan speed up and down by playing with the voltage because who knows what this is going to do. All right. So first things first is I need to try to put this together. And what I found is with these little pumps, you have to submerse them to get them to prime. Otherwise they don't, they won't uh, do it because I tried it just a little bit. Come on. I think I got it barely, but I think I got it. There it is. Okay, I got it. I got it. So now we have a closed loop system. And there's a little bit of air in there, but the water is now circulating. Okay, is we're gonna now switch on the Peltiers. I've got a meter here so we can see how much, uh, let's see, I'll zoom in a little bit. See how much current we're drawing. I got my current clamp on it. So let's go ahead and turn the fans on. Now let's go ahead and turn on some Peltier action. And then we'll also break out the thermal camera. All right, so I've got the Peltiers fired up. Looks like we're drawing about 20, 20 amps, but it's rapidly coming down and see what'll happen is the amperage probably will come down as the peltiers heat up. Now, depending on how efficient our heat sink is as to how well we're gonna do. So I'm feeling it Freezing. getting a little bit colder. I'm gonna see if I can't get the uh, 
thermal camera out and we'll see what it looks like that way. Okay guys, so it's been going for a little bit. I'm gonna use our FLIR camera here. See if I can hold it still. So I'm measuring about 14 degrees Celsius, 15 degrees Celsius, so it is getting cool. It is getting cooler, but it's not getting real cold. Uh, the air coming out of the fans, roughly 40 some odd degrees, 50, 60 degrees Celsius, that's pretty hot. Let's look at the heat sink. Oh, I forgot, aluminum, let me get a piece of tape. A lot of times with these thermal cameras, you have emissivity and reflection. Since it's using IR, I use a piece of tape. If you put a piece of tape on a really reflective surface, like the aluminum, the aluminum is really reflective. And so if I put some tape on it, let me tilt it up so you can see what I'm talking about. If I put some tape on it, then when I look at it with the thermal camera, see if I can, oh my gosh, it's taking pictures on me. That piece of tape is really hot now, where the rest of it looks like it's cold, and that's because of the IR reflection. So let me let me take a peek at it here. Uh, let's see, let me find it. It's about 95 degrees Celsius. Now I'm wondering if it's that hot, I wonder how well it's cooling. So I'm gonna take a peek back at our hoses again and see we've already, we've come up to about 20, I know you can't see that, I'm sorry, but uh, it's about 20, 25. It's, it's, or 21, it's almost just room temperature is all it's, is all it is. So let's turn up the fan speed a little bit and see what we get. I'm giving it all she's got, Captain. If I push it any harder, the whole thing will blow. Well, now looking at it, it looks like it's moved it down to about 87 degrees. Yeah, there's still 23 degrees. They're basically room temperature. So what that's telling me is I think our heat sink is not good enough. So I don't think this, this puppy is gonna work. Plus we're down to only 13 amps, so there's not a whole lot of power transfer here. So we're not cooling as well as we should. Okay guys, so now we gotta find a heat sink. So let's go to the good old Amazon and let's, uh, let's look for a heat sink. Let's begin. No, 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 nah, -uh, won't fit. When in doubt, DigiKey. Nope. Ah. Ooh, no. Mm. No. 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 There it is, Johnny. All right, I think this one's gonna do it. Check this out. This guy is gonna be a length of nine inches long. That's pretty long, but width of five inches. And the height is about two and a half inches, which means if it's 61.21, I could probably get a couple of 60 millimeter fans to put on there. Add to cart and purchase. Okay. All right. Now that, that there is a heat sink. Hefty. So I believe if we put this on there, this should give a lot of surface area, a lot of thermal mass, we should be good to go. Oh, and another thing, I even bought the little 60 millimeter fans and check this action out. We set it on its side, these fans will fit perfectly to give us some, some convectional flow here. Wow. And we're gonna need to mount this cooler onto here. I'll probably reuse, I'll show you on the bottoms of this, it has these little pad things. I'll probably reuse these and just re-drill holes and clamp it to this. Bingo, bango, bongo. So let's get it going. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. We'll be doing multiple videos in this. It's gonna be kind of a series. That way, none of them get too long. So in any case, definitely stay tuned for part two. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon so that way you get notified for the subsequent videos. We'll be putting this build together. I've got the make the shirt. I've got to also feed the tubing through it. I also got to test out that new heat sink, make sure that it's gonna work properly. So guys, definitely stay tuned for that. Uh, check me out on all the different social medias down below. Low, make sure and leave comments and hit that like button by the way if you enjoyed this video check out some of the uh, build pieces down there I've got some links to all the different uh, components to the heat sink to the Amazon links to the uh, different pieces that I bought so check that out if you want to build something similar or check out some of the stuff that I used in mine guys as always thank you very much for watching and we will see you next time